Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry that there is no intro, but um, I'm filming with my iPad, which means I don't have all my intros and all my editing fancy stuff um, today, but um, that's fine. Um, <laughs> this is a very requested video, and I'm so excited that you guys finally get to see it. It's my little flamingo. Um, it is a little bit neon, it, it, it is made with neon bands, so sorry for how bright it is. Um, but, um, I made this about a month to, month or two, month to three months ago, uh, sorry, <laughs> one month to three months ago, and everyone fell in love with it the moment I posted it. Um, so I think it's so cute, and I'm so excited to show you guys in a tutorial. Um, sorry I'm talking weird. I don't know why I'm talking weird. Um, but this guy is so cute. I'm so excited. Sorry for my, um, nails. I need, I need to cut them. But, uh, that's not what we're talking about. Um, but, yeah, I'm gonna be making a smaller version of him. Because he is surprisingly really big. He's bigger than my, like, hand. Um, and I don't know if anyone has enough bands to make something bigger than their hand. So, I'm gonna be making a smaller version with regular pink bands. So they're not all neon. You can see what I'm doing during the tutorial. I'm going to make the, the beak and the eyes all black because I don't know if I love how the white looks with the beak. Um, and also, I didn't write down the pattern for the beak. So, yeah. Let's just black and black for the eyes. And you can use safety eyes if you want. I'm just using this. You can also use um, beads for the eyes, but I don't have beads. So. Um, lastly, I do have to take that apart before I start doing the tutorial. Um, but the legs, I'm just going to be making with neon yellow because I love how the neon yellow looks. Um, so, that's just what I'm going to be doing. And also, you're going to be needing a hook. Um, you can use a crochet hook. Um, I have to go find my rainbow loom hook. This is a crochet hook. You can use crochet hook, uh, rainbow loom hook. Um, you're going to be needing some stuffing and I don't have some next to me hold on okay here's my rainbow loom hook you're also gonna be needing a C clip um I'll just show you this is what a C clip looks like so you need one of those or a stitch marker and you're also gonna need some stuffing so um grab all these things and we can get started with our flamingo hey everyone um sorry this is editing me right now I look really bad um but, yeah. So, basically, um, I'm very sorry for me saying sorry a bunch in the video. I also say oops a lot. Um, I made lots of mistakes during this. And please do not, like, comment anything in down below saying, like, oh, this is terrible. Or, like, oh, my God, it's so hard to understand. Because I will be making a, a bigger version of the tutorial soon. So, just kind of ignore that um also sorry that it's hard to understand um i'm gonna go now bye okay everybody so i've decided i want to start off my flamingo or the flamingo in the tutorial that i'll be showing you how to make with the legs because the legs you can just make quickly and put to the side um again ugh, sorry not again um i'm just gonna say this before we start, I'm not going to be going into too much depth on how to do every single stitch and a magic ring and everything like that. Go check out my Rainbow Loom Lumigurumi 101 video um, to see how to do all that if you're new to Lumigurumi because I'm going to be going a little bit quicker. Um, and yeah, I guess. So basically, you're going to start off by making a magic ring of six stitches. And you can just kind of see. How I make my magic ring. And I might there, zoom in a little bit. So six stitches all the way around. Just continue doing it. And I'm sorry if the bands in the background are a little bit annoying. Um, they're all tangled up, so I know. Okay, so now I have six stitches. I'm gonna take your. Ta I'm, you're gonna take your stitch marker or 
C-clip, in my case. Oh my god, I'm so sorry how for how bright it is. And, and the, just put on the band around your hook. Then you're just going to do five rows around your magic ring. Or you're just going to do five rows of single crochets around. So I'm going to do the first one on camera and I'm going to do four more off camera. I hate using neon bands because they're like kind of annoying to I use. Like they have a weird texture that I just hate to death. Um, but yeah, just do single crochets all the way around for five rows. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm so sorry. But I'm going to do the rest of this off camera so you don't have to see me struggle. Um, after I make this one, the next four rows of this one, I'm going to make one more off camera. So disclaimer, um, continue this, four more rows, and then do the other one and um, come back to me. And then also tie them off when you're done. The legs. I added two tying off bands on the sides so that we can tie it onto the body when we're done later. Um, again, if you if you haven't finished the first one, then do that and also finish the second one. It's just the same thing over again. Um, and now we're going to work on the nose. Again, sorry that these are neon bands. It's like super bright in the camera. Um, but now we're going to work on the nose or the beak thing. So you're going to grab your hook, C-clip, and your black band. Sorry for the cracking. And, um... I don't exactly know how much you need. There'll be um, a count in the description, most likely. So, but yeah. So we're gonna start off with a magic ring of four stitches for this. And yeah. That's one, two, three, four. Now you're going to grab your C-clip and put on the band around your hook. For the next row, I'm going to be doing a single crochet increase. So one single crochet into one stitch, and two into the next, and repeat around. Oopsies. And making mistakes is key, you'll just get better and better. But um, even I still make mistakes all the time. Okay, for the next row, I'm going to be doing a single crochet, single crochet, and then an increase. So two single crochets, and then two single crochets into one stitch. All right, and do that around. Okay, now I'm going to move my C-clip up once I'm done with the row. And for the next three rows, I'm going to be doing single crochets around. So I'm going to do off camera, and I'll be right back when I'm done. Scratch that. Only do one row. Um, so if you actually already did those, then um, I'm very sorry. Undo those two rows and only do one row of single crochets. I'm so sorry. Um, then you're just going to get rid of your C-club once you have only one row of single crochets around. You're going to go into the next stitch. And pull a band through. Slip knot it off in a moment. Oops, sorry. I'm not doing anything right today. I'm very sorry. 
Um, but yeah, so one row around, not <laughs> three or four. And another tying off band onto the other side so we can tie it onto the head um, when we're ready. So now we have the legs and the beak. We're not gonna need, oh wait, we should make the eyes right now. So make, we're gonna make the eyes. Just take two pink bands and two black bands for the eyes. We're not gonna need any more after that. So you're gonna take one band, wrap it around your hook once and take it again and wrap it around again. Just pull a pink band through, or you just, you mean, you can use safety eyes or pony beads or whatever you want. I'm um, sorry for the background noise. I might close my door in a moment. But make the eyes, and just put them to the side. I don't know why I keep them on my hook. But now that we have all the things that we're going to be adding on to the body. Sorry, I'm just kind of sort of cleaning my area up for the next part of this. Um, next, um, we're going to be making the head. Um, and, well, the head is basically the whole entire body. Uh, oh, actually, no, we're going to make the wings. I'm so sorry. We're going to show how to make one of the wings, and then I already have one of them made. But I'm just going to show you to make one of the wings. Um, and then you're going to have to make one more of those. So basically, for the wing, um, it's going to be fluffy, just like this. But smaller, because we're making a smaller version of this. I'm very sorry. Oh my god, I'm so confusing. Um, but basically, we're going to make a magic ring of six stitches. And we're make I'm going to show you how to make it fluffy. So we're going to put one band on our hook and wrap it like that. Next to the cap, the capping band for um, our magic ring. Then you're gonna pull this through, and you're also gonna pull this through, and then you're gonna make a stitch like a regular. And this is gonna be what will add like fluff to it. So you're gonna go back into that mat the capping band, and wrap a band around your hook. And pull the fluff through and the capping band through. And you're just going to continue doing that thing where you add the fluff um, in every single stitch. So add the fluff, pull through, pull through. But we're going to make a magic ring of six stitches. So continue adding the fluff and adding stitches. Continue adding fluff. <laughs> okay. So that should look like this. You can pull bands a little bit if you need to. I'm going to put my C-clip on my banner and my hook. And for the net first row, I'm going to be doing a single crochet. Actually, no, I'm going to be doing an increase around. I think this might be the only other row. I'm kind of also just doing this as I'm going. But continue to wrap a band around your hook, like in a figure eight shape, to add some fluff to the wing. Because we want our wings to be a little bit more poofy to give it some texture. You don't want just your flamingo to be like plain and boring. So, but um, yeah, increase. This is a little bit hard because there's a lot of bands that are, are now kind of being all combined together. So it's a little bit messy looking. Um, but I'm trying my best to just do this on camera. This is a very hard thing to do. <laughs> Continue doing increases around and adding the fluff. I think there's actually like a little 
like there's I think there's actually like a play called for you for something that's funny <laughs> And this also might take a while, so be patient with yourself. Like, don't be too hard on yourself with this part, because it is a little bit harder and trickier. Also, I want you guys to know that these videos do take a long time to film and edit. I have to delete all my camera roll to make these videos because they take up so much space. So I would really appreciate if you guys try to not rush me as much with making my content on my channel because it is very hard to make these videos and um, I know some of you guys finished these videos in like one day. But, um, it's, I, I, I can't, it, it takes me a whole day to film it. It takes me sometimes a couple days to film it. So I'd really appreciate if you guys kind of just, um, understand that I'm not going to be able to film every single couple of days as much because I do have school and I don't, I'm not, I'm not very, I'm not as flexible as I used to be. So you don't need to move your C-clip up. I'm just going to go into the next stitch and tie it off. And I don't know why some of these bands are curled up. I didn't undo anything, but it's fine. Then go um, into like the stitch next to it and pull another band through. And this is how we're going to be tying it on to the body <laughs> when we're ready. I'm going to go ahead and make one of more of these off camera. You can just rerun the video and do it again. Um, I think it's so cute. <laughs> okay, but finish the wing and then um, we'll start making the body. Okay, I'm back. I have both of the wings and now I'm going to get started with the body. Um, we're going to start off with the um, head first though. So, yeah. Okay. So for the head, we're going to start off with a magic ring of six stitches, and we're using pink or whatever body color, like main color you want to use for the flamingo. Sorry for the background noise. Um, I'll go close my door in a moment. Okay, so we have five stitches and sees. Gosh, okay. So now you're just going to put your C clip on the banner on your hook or stitch marker, um, whatever you're going to be using. And for the next row around, I'm going to be doing increases all the way around. That's two single crochets into the same stitch. Oops. <sighs> Can't tell if you're hearing what I'm hearing. But I'm going to go close my door in a moment. So sorry about that. Also, I'm very sorry that my focus and everything's really bad um i am filming like i said earlier filming with my ipad I'm not really used to having the ipad as what i'm filming with so the quality is going to be pretty bad 
but yeah, I'm gonna go close my door. All right, so the next row around, I'm gonna be doing a single crochet, single crochet, and then an increase. Oops, I gotta move my C clip up. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so single crochet, single crochet, and then an increase. And if you didn't understand what I just said, then it's basically one stitch into one stitch, one stitch into one stitch, and then two stitches into one stitch. And just keep repeating that pattern. <laughs> oh, and go all the way around. And I'm just picking up some bands and putting them around my finger so I don't have to keep picking them up and it's just quicker in my opinion, but... Okay, so once you're done with that rope, move your C-clip up to the band around your hook. Also, sorry, my fingernails and my hand looks weird. I don't know. looks kind of yellow, sort of, but I don't know why. But, <laughs> but um, for the next three rows, I'm going to just do single crochets all the way around, one stitch into a stitch. And, um, yeah, I'll be right back. When I'm done, you can just pause the video. And three rows. Do three rows. Okay, I'm done with the three rows, and um, I'm going to do one more row of, not single crochets, but we're going to do one more row, just sort of finish the head, um, to get it ready to add all the parts to the head, the face and stuff. So basically, we're going to be doing a single crochet and a decrease all the way around, and um, yeah. So, one stitch into one stitch, and then a decrease. Here, this is what a decrease looks like. Because I know a lot of you don't know how to do decreases. You're going to go in with your hook into the first stitch, but only take the front of it and the next stitch of the back of it. And you're just going to stitch those together. So single crochet and decrease all the way around. And yeah. Also, I am planning to post again on either... Thursday or something. So. Continue doing this all the way around. Ah, it's taking me forever. <laughs> I'm going to move my C-clip up to the band around my hook, and then I'm going to go into the next stitch and do, like, a slip knot. I'm going to pull it kind of tight, but not tight enough to stay like that forever. So, this is what the head should look like. Um, you're going to grab the nose and the eyes because... We're putting the face on, um, and I'm going to start off by just putting my eyes so I can kind of know where I want to place the nose when I'm done placing the eyes. And then this is also an option once you're done placing the eyes and the nose and whatnot. You can add um, some little hair specks on the top of your head. Um, um, I didn't... I kind of did that. Uh, you don't really have to. I don't know if I like how much it looks. It kind of makes it give it look more like a little fluffy on the head look. I don't know. I don't like how it looks. You can do whatever you want, but basically you just do you just pull band through, slip knot it through the stitch, and then you cut it the top of it so it's not like sticking out as round. I hope that made sense, but um, that's just <laughs> what I'm going to be doing because um, 
yeah, I don't want to do that to mine. Okay, it kind of looks a lot of weird, but once we add the, oh, also, if you were going to add safety eyes, do that now, uh -huh. but it kind of looks weird right now without adding anything else, but we're going to be adding the nose, and it looks a lot better when I just do this, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm, like, really hot in my room right now. I have no idea why it's, like. Temperature is really, really warm. And just kind of double knot it, and it should stay to the head. <gasps> it's okay. It's okay. Okay, it's not It's not coming undone. Uh -huh. Make sure you don't pull the bands too hard, or they can rip. It kind of looks like a platypus. Um, but once we make the rest of the body... It, it'll look better. It'll look better. <laughs> so now um, you can undo the little slip knot that we did. And for the next row round, I'm actually just going to do single crochets around. And I'm going to do single crochets around for the next seven. Um, actually, no, no, no. I'm like the next five rows. Five rows. <laughs> I'm going to be doing single crochet for the next five rows, and um, you're going to do that too, and then I'll be right back when I'm done. And you can just pause the video. Okay, I finished two more rows. I am going to be stuffing the neck just a little bit now, and then I'm going to start working on the lower body part, and that sounded wrong. The lower body area. No, the, 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 the body. Not the neck, not the head. We're done with the head and the neck. We're working on the body. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so stuff the neck a little bit. It looks so cute. I love it. <laughs> um, so now for the next row, I'm going to grab some more bands. I'm actually running out of bands, which is uh, making me sad because I need some more bands to finish this. But that's fine. But um, for the next row, I'm just going to be doing a single crochet increase around. And yeah, you can do that. Well, I'm just going to be sitting here and doing it. So, I mean, yeah. But single crochet increase around. Oh, also, I do want to show you something that I made at the end of this video, and it's super exciting and super cute. So, I will be showing you guys that at the end of the video. Um, so get excited. Oop, there's a car driving by. <laughs> but I'm just finishing the row on an increase. I'm going to do one more row um, of some increases. And it's just going to be a single, single, and then an increase. So single crochet, single crochet, and then two single crochets into one stitch. And I'm just going to do that all the way around. I feel like, in my opinion, there's so many background noises where I am, but I have no idea if you guys can hear them through the camera until I'm editing the video. So very sorry about that.
now it's starting to look a little bit better in my opinion but um continue doing the single crochet and increase away around i mean single single increase around my bad but If you're also like a slower loomer, don't worry, you can pause at any time in the video. Um, it's perfectly fine. And yeah. Okay, so I'm just finishing this row up with an increase. I'm going to be moving my C-clip up to the band around my hook. And now I'm going to be doing two rows of single crochet around it, and only two rows. Okay? So I'm going to do two rows around, and then I will be right back. And you can pause the video and do them off camera. Or I will do them off camera. You can just pause the video, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I finished the two rows, and now I am gonna be adding the wings. So I'm gonna be first tying it off real quick. Just tighten it, not too tightly though. Then you're gonna grab your wings. I'm just gonna get them on my fingers and get them ready. I'm just gonna kinda go in where I think the wings will look good. I'm going with my gut here. And I'm just going to look at it from the side to see if I like the position. And I do. So I'm going to knot it in. And just do one knot. And one more. Double knot it. Just like that. Oop. And the same thing for the other side. Pull it in where you think it will look good. Okay, I think I like the placements of everything. So the last thing we have to add are the legs. Um, we do have to finish the body first. So this kind of look like it's gonna look like that at the end, basically. But we gotta finish that part. So <laughs> um, I'm not gonna stuff it just yet. I'm gonna do one more row um, of some. I'm gonna do the next row, and then after that row, I will be doing the stuffing. But basically, for the next row, I'm gonna be decreasing around. Um, I might end up running out of bands and just stopping the clip, but I'll go right back to the decreases, or whatever, the row. Um, so undo the slip knot band. I just threw it over into the corner. Don't mind that. And basically, I'm going to be doing decreases all the way around, and just de only decreases, not other, any other stitch, just decreases. So I'm just going to try doing it in all the stitches all the way around until I get back to my C-clip. And basically I could have just decreased it until it closed, but um, because I want to stuff it, um, I do want to make sure that when I get back to my C-clip, I can stuff it and then I can just do decrease till closed. So. That is what I'm doing. You can do it differently, but I'm just doing de um, decreases basically until it's closed now. I don't know why I'm talking like a six-year-old girl. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay, I'm running out of bands. But I have one more stitch left in the row, and then I'll come right back when I finish the row. So hold on a second. Okay, I found a different pink color to use. I did um, have to end up using a different pink color altogether. It's like a pastel pink. Um, but this is just what I'm going to have to do to finish it off. I ended up 
basically using all my pink bands that I bought from my last haul um, video. Go check that out. Um, so promo. But, um, so I do have to get some new bands soon. But I'm just going to be using those pink bands. So, yeah. But I'm just going to be stuffing my flamingo. And you should do that too. Okay. Okay. That's good. And now you can get rid of your C clip. And I'm just going to decrease till I am closed. So I'm just going to decrease around and um, I'll come right back when I'm done doing this because I don't really want to show my decreasing. It's kind of just like doing single crochets rounds. So I'm just going to decrease until it's closed and I'll be right back. Hold on, oops, I want to finish the stitch that I'm doing currently and then I'll come back when I'm done. Here's the decreases. Basically, you're just going to go into the next stitch or somewhere into the butt and pull a band through everything on your hook. Okay. Now I'm just going to tuck the band in. Okay. Now it's time to add the final part. I'm so excited. The legs. So I'm just going to place them where I want and then just knot it in the back. And then I'm going to go over and around and just place them around the legs, the extra bands, just like that. And I don't have to go and tuck anything in. I'm going to do that one more time for the other leg, and then I'll be done, and I'll be right back. I finished attaching the leg, and it is officially done. Well, I this is the final result of our design. You should have added the other leg on. Sorry for the neon again. Um, but this is the final design. I'm sorry I couldn't make the bigger version. There's quite a big size difference, but this could be like the mommy and the baby. I'm still considering making a bigger version like this sometime in the future. I just need some more bands. But, yeah, I hope you like this. Comment down below what you want to see next. I am running low on bands, so I will be making some smaller designs. Um, also, posting update. I will only be posting on weekends, Saturday and Sunday from now on. Um, because for the meantime, because my phone is completely dead. I cannot get it back on, no matter how hard I try. Um, like, it, it still... If I press the home button, it takes like at least five seconds to turn back on, and it's really annoying. Um, it's also a really old phone, so I might as well just, you know, get a new one. Um, can't make any videos on it without it shutting down or anything. Really annoying. But I do hope you enjoyed the video. And subscribe, like this video if you want to see more. And, uh, um, yeah, I guess, because I can't film anything during the week, I'll just see you guys next week. But yeah, bye. Oh, remember to follow the social medias. Bye. Oh, one last thing. <laughs> um, I have a friend named Keely, and she actually um, is pretty good at YouTube videos. She does really nice aesthetic videos. She does, like, makeup and makeup looks and Roblox videos. So go check her out. Her name is Keely Elliot. I'll put a link for her YouTube channel in the description below. Um, so yeah, shout out to her. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.